Hi, welcome back to the practical section of PIG. In this section, we'll be looking at how do we operate or how do we operate with PIG or command line interface. There are two ways of accessing PIG. One is using local mode and another is using command line interface. Okay. First, we'll see how to operate using PIG using command line interface. Okay. When I say something called PIG and say enter, it will take me to something called grunt shell. Grunt shell is the shell where you can type in all the pig commands. Okay. First, we'll see how to load a tab delimited file into pig. Because tab is a default delimiter in pig. First of all, let me open pig input1.txt. Okay. So, I'll type in something like 111 space abc 222 cde 333 says e something yeah so i got to put this into something like hadoop fs hyphen put user training path sorry uh oh I, I forgot my input file name which is the primary thing okay I have put my input file into user training path. Now, let me load this particular pig input1.txt. Let me load this particular file into uh, pig. Yeah. So, in order to load, like I said in my previous video, you got to use a variable. Let's use a variable called a equal to load yeah I'll use something called an operator called load to load my file into pig so load file what is the file name this is the file okay uh, as I want to give you a schema to it what is my schema schema is nothing but like I, I have given something like this right see here 111 ABC like that so I'll give something like ID and yeah, comma, sorry, id of, this is the syntax, id, colon, int, and uh, name, colon, something like carry. yeah, so when I type enter, a where, I mean, a file called pig input one dot txt has been loaded into a, okay, with this, with this as a schema, okay, let's see, the results so in order to see the results like we discussed we have something like dump okay dump a so when i type in enter then my map reduce jobs will be started to running will be start to running in the background so basically then when i type dump a then only my file will be loaded into a variable called a then it will be displayed once the loading part is done let's wait until it's executed My map reduces jo job is done by 50%. Okay, uh, yeah. See so, yeah. Once my map reduce job is done, we got two variables which is ID and name. Okay, which has something called 111 ABC 222 CDE and 333 EE. Okay, this is how we load a file into pig. But my question is we have loaded using something called a default delimiter in pig which is which is tab now i wanted to load something called a pipe delimiter file so how do i do that so first let me create a pipe delimited input file okay so i'm just replacing tab with pipe so i have a pipe delimited input file yeah so let me save it okay uh, I'll just remove this file from my user training path or or I'll do one thing. I'll just rename this to pig input 2.txt. Okay. I'm just putting pig input 2.txt into my user training path and this pig input 2.txt is nothing but a pipe delimited file. Yeah. So let's see how to load it. Okay. 
now i'm just using a variable called a1 equal to load input sorry pick input 2.txt yeah uh, using pig storage of pipe delimiter okay as oops, sorry i'll just type in this once again as yeah uh name of oh, sorry id of end comma name of carry see here what did i do i have loaded the file similarly what i had done it for a pipe delimited file okay but i have used something called pig storage of pipe okay when i used pig storage of pipe it will be a pipe delimited i mean it is it will expect a pipe delimited input which which is residing in your uh, hdfs path yeah so uh, in order to view the results you just like what we have seen in our earlier example i'll just dump in dump a1 it will again run the back map reduce in the background and it will fetch me the results yeah my map reduce has started so it's now just just 50% done once it's 100% done we'll get our results yeah we have got uh, our results which is 111 abc 222 cd and 33e but did you find out something like it is running map reduce in the background and fetching me just to view uh, sample records it is taking a lot of time because we are primarily looking at how the data is loaded into my variable so in order to look a sample of data do you need to wait this much of time i would say no so in order to avoid that we have something called illustrate command i l l s u t r a t e a1 see illustrate is the most useful command i would say in pig which would give you a sample data that got loaded into a variable with data types okay if you could remember in my previous session i have told byte array is the default data type in pig see at the start a variable a1 has been declared with a schema of id and name with a default data type of byte array but in your uh, loading variable or led loading syntax you have provided the uh, schema as id and name so what it did is it had overrided the byte array into int and char array which whichever you had provided and again Uh, this illustrate command is giving you one sample record it picks one sample record randomly and it will give you the output in just fraction of seconds so like what you had waited for dump you don't need to wait for so long time to get the map reduce to complete see here it will i mean first it will it has given you 33 3 and e when i use the illustrate command again it is using it is giving me 111 and abc so it it uh, i mean depends Uh, it depends on uh, uh, how you are i mean it, it randomly picks one record and gives you the output yeah so now let's i mean now we have seen how to load a file into a variable in grunt i mean which is nothing but your pig and then how to dump your results so dump is taking a lot of time in order to avoid that we have seen uh, how to how to uh, how to uh, reduce the time using illustrate command yep now let's look at other commands of uh, pig like group for each operator and all the stuff yeah so let me create an input file okay now i'll create something called pig input 3.txt okay so in this pig input 3.txt i'll load so I'll, i'll load something like three operators okay sorry uh three fields one would be my id name and something like is i 
I will give two two records for each age group. Okay. Okay. I've given a two two. Okay. Two two records for each age group. I've named it as pig input three dot txt. I'll put this into user training path again. Yeah. I've put it. Now. Now what I'll do is. Okay, I'll just clear this whatever we had done so far. Okay, now let me use a variable called a two to load user training pig input three dot txt file in uh, using pig stories. Of pipe delimiter, yeah. As uh, we have used something called ID, which is int. Maybe is this the way for? I mean, we got to check the format before loading something. Of course, this is the format. Uh, name charre and is of of int. Okay, so I've loaded my data. To look at my sample data, I'll use something called Illustrate A2. So I've got three records, three sample records. I mean, it's one sample record with all the three fields: ID, name, age. Now, if you remember, I have given two two records for each age group. So let me group. Let me group. This uh, input file based on A's. So for that, I'll give something like B two equal to, yeah, group A two by A's. Okay. When I illustrate B two, let me see the results I get. Oh oh yeah. See here for twelve, I've got two records that are grouped together. So if you could remember. If you could remember my earlier session, I told a bank is collection of tuples, right? See here, I have one, I mean two tuples, one and two. So I am naming that as a bag here because I have got two tip tuples and bag is a collection of tuple. Now that I have grouped my input records based on A's, see here, I have grouped it based on A's. I got two records for A's twelve. I grouped it, so I got my bag and I got a group. Name as twelve. I mean for I mean which is of int data type, and I got a bag as a value to it with two tuples. So this is how you can group your input records based on some field in Pig. Now that I have grouped based on A's, and I illustrated it. In order to view the complete results, you can dump B two. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's it for this video. In our next video, we will be looking at further com. I mean further. Commands that are available in Pig. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Bye bye.